Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be working on my lovely client. Say hello to Brittany, everyone. We are starting off by prepping her natural nail. I'm using my Kiara Sky e-file at a speed of about 4,000 RPMs. Along with that, I'm using the mandrel bit and sanding band, both from Profiles Backstage. These sanding bands are in medium grit in the color purple. I'm just going ahead and gently pushing back that cuticle with this bit. And then we're gonna be gently buffing off the shine. Usual prep, these steps are a must if you want your nails to really stay on for as long as you want. So make sure you guys are thoroughly prepping the natural nail. And then again, just very, very lightly at a speed of 4,000 RPMs. Very quickly going in with my needle bit. I believe this one is actually from Profiles Backstage. It has a little bit more of a squared tip, which is absolutely fine. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use that to get into that hard to reach area that you cannot get in with the mandrel bit. So I'm just making sure that I, again, I have my ephod at 4,000 RPMs. Very, very light pressure and I'm just going in to remove all of that excess dead skin. I'm going in with my cuticle bobbit from Kiara Sky. I have it at a speed now of 5,000 RPMs, and I'm just carefully buffing off that dead cuticle instead of cutting or nipping any of it off. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply the tips. I am using the universal tips from Not Polish, which are my go-to full sculpted stiletto nails. I absolutely love them. And I'm just applying that with the Young Nails Brush on Glue, which is also one of my staples in my nail supplies. Definitely a must of my books. I love using the brush on glue. So I'm just adding a very small amount on the tip and then adding the tip to the natural nail. I'm gonna hold it firmly until it dries. This glue does dry very quickly, so you gotta work fast, but I absolutely love that it takes no time to dry. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish that. Once I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and file the sides. I'm just doing this to make sure that the sides are nice and flush to her natural nail. And then of course, I love a stiletto that's super, super sharp. So we're gonna be sharpening up that tip very gently as well. Now you will notice that when I'm shaping the nails, I'm holding the opposite side with my other fingers to assist and so that the nail doesn't wiggle all over the place. This is gonna be a lot more comfortable for your client and for yourself. When it comes to shaping, you want a nice and sturdy file, but at the same time, you want the tip to be nice and sturdy as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that, then we're gonna go into our acrylic application. Now very quickly, I'm just dehydrating the nail and cleaning it from any excess dust with the Kiara Sky Lint Free Wipes and a little bit of Young Nail Swipe. You can also use alcohol if you do not have swipe. Now I'm going in with the primer. This is a triple X bond from Not Polish. It is my go-to all-time favorite. I'm just gonna go ahead and really rub that in her natural nail. Sometimes I do two coats, it kinda just depends. But for the most part, two coats will do the trick and avoid any lifting issues. Now getting right into our acrylic application, for today's video I am using the Not Polish Acrylic Brush in a size 12. Along with that I'm using their monomer and this clear acrylic is from Not Polish as well. So I'm starting off with a medium sized bead of acrylic and I am placing it right in the center where the tip meets the natural nail. And then I'm quickly working the product downwards all the way to the tip. 
Now, for this video, I did decide to just show this process on two nails just because it gets really, really repetitive and I feel like you guys get the idea once I show you guys once I show you guys just on one finger itself. So I'm just basically going to be layering on that acrylic as much as I want. This specific client likes her nails extremely thick and it is specifically because her nails are stiletto. One, you need the thickness for that and two, she is not careful. And so in order to save paint on both ends, we just go ahead and layer on that acrylic so that it's nice and thick. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that on both nails and then we're gonna get into filing. Now for our filing process, we are starting off with the e-file at a speed of about 10 to 11,000 RPMs. Along with that, I am using my very old and very used rose gold bit from Kiara Sky. This is the 5-in-1 bit. And I believe it was medium grip, but it is so old that it's probably fine at this point, quite frankly. <laughs> but I love it for finished filing. I feel like it's so well seasoned that it just makes everything super, super smooth. So I'm going in with very light pressure around that cuticle area to make sure that that acrylic is nice and flush to her natural nail. And then I'm going vertically up and down the entire surface of the nail. I do this because her nails are extremely long, so I'm able to have better control of my e-file if I go vertically up and down. Now we're going in with our hand file once again and I'm going to make sure at this point that everything is super super straight and very very sharp. I'm going to be going in on both sides just making sure that that tip is right down the center and again we're stabilizing that nail with our other fingers and making sure we're holding it nice and sturdy. Going in with the Kiara Sky Pink Buffers, I'm just going to very carefully buff the surface of the nail and prep for our nail art. I'm going to go ahead and repeat that on all of the nails.
Once we're done with all our filing, you can absolutely have your client go and wash their hands. I, however, like using another lint-free wipe and some Young Nail Swipe once again. I feel like it just gets the job done a lot easier and it fully removes any dust that you may have on there. And then of course, because these are clear, I'm going underneath the nail as well to fully remove all of that dust. Now we are going in and adding the rub on top coat from Kiara Sky. This is a very, very good top coat for any type of chrome, any pigments that you want to rub onto the surface of the nail. This is going to be it. We're going to be using a unicorn, very beautiful ir iridescent chrome. So I'm going to go ahead and use this as my base. I'm adding a very thin layer of this and you want to make sure that the nail is fully, fully dust free. Otherwise, you'll be able to see the dust through that chrome that you apply. So I'm just cleaning it very quickly once again and then again going in with a very thin layer. Otherwise, the nail will become a little too bulky. So I'm just applying that very carefully and then we're going to be placing that in the light for a full minute. You can flash cure this and it'll be a little bit more uh, grabbing of the product. But honestly, I go ahead and place this hand in the light while I'm working on the other one. So whatever amount of time that takes me to polish the other one is the amount that it's going to stay in the light. And I want to say it's about a minute. Now once that is nice and dry, I'm going to go in with a little makeup applicator and just rub in that chrome. I'm not doing this carefully at all whatsoever. It is very, very sheer, which is the look she was going for. So honestly speaking, as long as it's fully covered, you don't have to be super careful about it. I'm just going in on the sides, on the center, on the top, and just really rubbing that in to make sure that it's fully coated. Now I will say if you have issues with doing your nail art nice and perfect and you know you're going to have to do a lot of cleaning up, I would highly suggest that you top coat the chrome before you go in with your additional nail art. I however did not. I felt like the design was simple enough to where I can get it on my first try. But like I said, if you guys are not comfortable with nail art, absolutely top coat the chrome before you go in because if you need to do any little cleanups the chrome will come off whenever you clean up your mistakes so I'm just going right over top of that chrome and drawing in the heads of mushrooms we're going to be doing a mushroom set I thought this design was super super cool my client was really excited to get these done so we're starting off with just red this red is from the gel liners from profiles backstage and then we're using the pastel yellow from the recent pastels that I got. Um, also from Profiles Backstage, I absolutely love the liners. They are very, very quickly becoming my favorite. And I always gravitate more towards the Profiles Backstage ones because the quality is just so perfect. Now, for my nail art brush, of course, you guys probably already know, it is the McCart liners from Amazon. All of that will be linked in my Amazon storefront. But we're just going to go ahead and repeat that on the rest of the nails. This pastel yellow is for the body of the mushroom. Now I'm going in with one of the browns from the fall collection of their liners as well. And I mixed it with a little bit of that yellow so that it is a little bit lighter. And then we're just going in and adding the little lines to the body of the mushroom. Now I will say I am absolutely curing in between each color. You want to make sure that you cure before you layer on any other color. Otherwise, they're going to bleed and you do not want that. Now, I'm just going in with the white. This one is also from one of their liners. And I'm just using a dotting tool and creating little dots on the top of the mushrooms. Now, we're going to be adding little random dots as well throughout the nails. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that on the rest of the nails and then we're going to be adding in some cute little leaves. Now for the green as well, I'm taking the pastel green and the yellow. I'll leave every combination that I mixed in the description box as well because I know it can get a little bit confusing and I quite frankly do not remember the exact names of them. So I'll leave all of that down below in the description box along with the links to purchase. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and draw the little leaves as well. I'm doing two little stems basically on the nails that have mushrooms. So I start off with one and the trick to leaves are honestly just apply more pressure at the top and then loosen up the pressure as you get to the stem. That's I feel like the best way that I can explain it. So I'm just going in and loosening up that pressure or I guess I should say releasing the pressure and it creates that perfect little leaf. Now I know a lot of you guys are going to be like what the heck is wrong with her nail. I honestly forgot that she had a cut on her middle finger but before you guys ask questions um, she did remove her nails before her appointment and there was a little bit of damage on some of her nails along with her fingers so I did not do that do not come at me now I'm going in with white gel we're going to be doing a star on the pinky and then more random little dots honestly speaking if you guys are doing white Go ahead and do all the white that you need to use on all of the nails. I was just so focused on getting those two nails done because it was such a cute design that I forgot about the rest. And so now we're just going to go ahead and add in all those tiny little details. And it's going to bring the entire design to life. But I'll leave the inspo linked in the description box so you guys can check out that set. Now, if you are flash curing each design as you go, make sure at the end you give it a full cure so that all the layers of that gel paint are fully cured. I'm going to go ahead and now top coat with the gloss it from Not Polish. And I'm just adding a thin layer of that over top of the entire surface of the nail. And I want to make sure that I'm really, really pressing that into the nail art because you do not want any chipping, especially because you have that chrome. You want to make sure you are fully coating the sides as well. But that basically concludes today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.